Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with, well, it's just finishing off a pour that I did on, uh, in resin and I was going to get all of this particular one on camera for you and I had some kind of technical malfunction with my camera but if you are if you're really wanting to know how I did this was the base of what I'm going to do then um, please let me know and I'll quite happily put a, a full tutorial on of how I achieve this so this was my first coat and what I basically did was make up my resin which I'm using the just resin it's uh, equal parts A and B so you just put equal parts resin but I will go through the tutorial with you at a later date and I colored I colored my resin um, with a little bit of acrylic paint with a bit of the um, with a bit of the dragonfly glaze in my paint so as it creates this luster effect and I just put this on this is actually going to be a table I've got I've got the legs I've got the legs to go in there so when I put the legs on it and it together I'll show you it finished so um, I poured this resin yesterday and I put some uh, crystals in it and some sort of mermaid um, glitter and some of these little hearts and I and um, I did this yesterday and for some reason my camera just didn't it didn't even start I'm not sure this was my new iPad so I'm not sure what was going on with it but um, when my resin had sort of dried off for about four four hours I took the um, the masking tape from around the edge so as it didn't end up sticking now this has been a good 24 hours so this is dry and I'm now going to put a whole top coat of resin over all of that so I've just used a uh, just resins resin calculator on their site to see how much I need to cover a 45 centimeter round and it says that I will need um, 250 mils of resin to cover this whole thing so I want to cover it and um, yeah just so I've got a complete resin over the top and these are not bumpy bits because I want a flat surface so I am going to next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this resin so I can show you that if you're interested um, this is very sheeny shiny so I'm so excited to uh, get the end result with that so I've got my two uh, measuring jugs now as long as you've got a cloth and some alcohol to wipe off and I've got these alcohol wipes um, and I've got the isoprol alcohol will wipe off resin so you know don't get too worried about it now with resin most companies will say now that resin's really cleaned up and it's not nowhere near you know it's not toxic and everything but as a safety precaution please put a respirator mask on um use your nitrile 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 gloves to do anything in resin so just as a safety precaution, you don't want to get anything into your lungs. I'm just getting my apron. So, um, yeah. So it, this, this just resin is um, equal parts. It's very nice and easy. So I've got my measuring jug. So I need to make 250 mil up. So it has to be 125 125 of each part in the um, container so this is the thinner one where am I with that that's 100 or oh, just a little dribble more I was pretty close 
No, that's a bit too much. So that's 150. So I'll pour a little bit back. That's 125. So I've got to pour an equal amount of the just resin into. So that's the thinner part. Now I'll pour the um, other bit. This is a diamond coat. And I've just found this fantastic for doing actual resin on an art board or a, can a smaller canvas. Um, and of course, now this is my first tabletop. So I'm doing this as a gift for my son and his partner um, to have in their new house. So ooh, that's 100 I've got in there, 100 mils. So I need... Oh, a little bit more. I'm just collecting every last drop. So that is, is that? 100. Just over. I just need some more. Oh gosh, a little bit more. So none of the uh, uh, none of these will start going off until you put one into the other. So I will just leave my resin there, and I will add the thin one, the thinner part, to the thicker part. So then it makes up my two fifty mils. Try and get every last dribble out of it. Okay, if you um, spray your container straight away with some alcohol, I mean, don't get any alcohol in you, and then wipe it out it comes out very easily so it's no no big tr no big deal if you just wipe it straight away i found so that's that one Ooh. it's very handy to keep your alcohol wipes and your al alcohol on hand because um it does clean off the resin straight away from your you know if you make any mistakes so as long as you've got that on hand so yeah just a little thing to do now this resin has to be stirred for at least three minutes so I'll get stirring 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 away for three minutes I hopefully will speed this bit up for you okie doke I have been stirring for well over three minutes um, and I'll bring my art piece back into it but before I do I want to mix just I've just put a bit of acrylic paint with a little bit of the dragonfly glaze in it and I want to make up some red color just to drizzle in this piece so I'm going to put the resin in there and give that a good stir now, traditionally, they're using um, pigments to go in resin, but I just thought I'd give this a go. So I had I used it in an art piece that I did, and it turned out beautiful. So 
I, I used a little bit of acrylic and and pigments and it turned out really lovely so I just give this a go I think the thing is with resin as long as the add whatever you're adding to your resin isn't more than 10% of the actual resin then it uh, mixes okay so just mix that red with this so I'll just I'm going to pour this now over and uh, finish off this piece. So I've got one little bee in there um, that I wasn't, I wasn't going to put in. Then I thought because it's going to my son and his wife with the new baby when she gets older, they may be able to say to her, find the bee. Find the bee and she can find the bee. Anyway, just make sure you use with resin the blue tape or the, you know, a really good tape frog tape or whatever you call it, um, masking tape. So it just stops your resin from leaking out and down the sides. So what I wanna do with this resin now is add a bit, a little bit of the dragonfly glaze. It doesn't matter what color the actual dragonfly glaze is because I found that it just adds, it goes clear. So basically whatever you put um, whatever color dragonfly glaze you put in your resin it still gives you this oh amazing luster in the finished piece of resin so even though it looks all white in there it does dry clear but with the amazing look at it, it's absolutely sparkling 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 so this is going to have some amazing um, sparkle in this resin for sure for sure, for sure. Now I'm double thinking about putting that red in here at all. But I'll just see how we go with this one. So that's mixed. Oh, that's just sparkling beautifully. So here we go. I know lots of people said, so scared about using resin, don't want to go there. And I was exactly the same. But when you've done an actual resin art piece, oh my goodness, it is just like, it's just beautiful. So I'm pouring all the sparkle in. I want to just cover the whole lot. Just making sure that every bit of my gems and that are covered and I suppose if I get some gems that are still sticking out I might even put another coat over it after this one's dry. Um, I'm no expert at resin, I'm just learning. Um, I had one uh, resin one-on-one -on -one workshop with the lovely uh, Carly Johnson of CJ Resin. She hasn't actually got a YouTube channel out yet, but she's got um she's on Instagram and Facebook and she has a website for beautiful Australian resin pieces if anybody wants to uh, get their bit of Australian art. So, there's my resin. I'll just try and use my little where's she gone? My little spatula. A little offset spatula. Just got this little plastic offset spatula. I'm gonna. Oh, I think I might heat my resin. It will. It will um, spread a lot easier if I heat it up. So I'm gonna heat the resin. Burst the bubbles. Spread it out. Oh, I think I'm going to need another coat because I've used the chunky um, crystals in the center. They're obviously sticking up and I do want the surface because it's going to be a side table to be flat at least you know if you put something on it's not going to uh, fall over because the surface is not flat this was um, just a little Kmart side table so um, that I'm converting into this 
resin art piece, so they're not very expensive at all, the little Kmart tables, so um, it's a good, you know, good surface to, yeah, and you've got the legs, I've got the legs with it. So trying to get this equal all round, spread it out. Like I said, I'm thinking I'm definitely going to need some more, another coat after this, just, just because I've got those bumpy area here. I mean, I probably could have made up more resin and left it thicker, you know, because if I was doing a piece of art that size, that was the recommended amount. But um, because I'm covering up this chunky, um, chunky stones I've got in there, so I suppose it's like a geode, isn't it? It's got stones and it's just jilly designed, jilly designed. So. But if you've never done resin and you're, you know, a bit dubious, just start off with a beginner's, a little beginner's kit and um, have a go. Like I say, as long as you've got the mask on and you've got all your safety precaution, you will be amazed at the results. And of course, with resin, it's a finish, finished product, isn't it? You haven't got to go back over and coat it and it's all done in one hit. I mean, this one I'm obviously going to do in three pours now, but it's only because it, I could use chunky stuff in it. So my resin art, I've got a few resin videos and I'll try to remember to link them to you to um, if you just want to do a piece of resin art. But that's, look at the shimmer in that. And when that's dry, that will absolutely be perfect. Perfect, where's my little... There you go, got my little cloth. I was going to put a drizzle of this, but I'm not sure now. Oh dear, let me see. Okay, let's see what blowing this out looks like. Let me heat it up first. Well, I obviously did not need to use that red because I don't think that does anything to it, for it whatsoever. But I've done it now, so it kind of, um, I'm just hoping when it dries, it, it looks okay. The other thing to remember working with resin, whether on a canvas or a board or like this, a tabletop, is you must have absolutely flat surface. So just best little tool you can get yourself is the little leveler. I got this one from Capriol Shabby Chic sent it to me and it's been the best little tool. Check in to see my levels. You can slip, you know, a paddle pot stick up or something if it's a little 
bit off on one side, but they're definitely worth having your little spirit level. So I'm going to leave this to dry and then after four hours, I will come back and take this paper off it. But then again, I may give it an, well, I probably will give it another coat to cover that. That's very high there. So I guess that I'm going to need double the amount of resin to actually cover this piece um, adequately. So um, that's me, me and my learning curve for this is to, you know, think about if you're going to put gems or anything on it that you're going to need the resin then to cover the whole lot. I mean, on geodes, I know that they've got the uh, gems showing, you know, if it's going to be an art piece to hang on the wall, that would be perfectly okay. But because I'm going to have it as a tabletop, it needs to be flat. So what I'm going to do with the last little bit of resin, um, I've got some, these are my muffin, muffin uh, cake, silicone cake um, duvalakis, what you call it. So I am going to add this resin so I can do some, um, I'm going to pour the resin left over into the mold so I have some um, I'll have some uh, what you call it <clears throat> Valentine's hearts so can either then put a little fridge magnet on the back so this is what I'm going to do with leftover resin from now I've these are just cake molds so they're, they're not proper resin molds but they still seem to come out perfect I will put a picture on at the end of this of the hearts that I did I actually stuck a butterfly in. I'm going to put this down now and scrape out my last bit. Um, but that's it, guys. So if you do want to know the process that I did for the whole piece or... What have I done? So sorry. I didn't even notice I'd gone wonky. Sorry about that. I'll try and correct it. But yeah, if you do want to know how I did the whole process to begin with please let me know and I will do a tutorial for you because it is great fun and they turn out absolutely beautiful but I've made a big boo-boo in this one was not having my camera running in the first place and the second one putting that red in I didn't need it did I it's um I'm just hoping that when it the resin dries and then I'll put another coat on it sort of doesn't you know look too bad anyway i will say cheerio for now and thank you guys so much for joining me until next time bye for now puppy dogs puppy dogs puppy dogs want to be in on the on the show just showing you this tabletop that i've done in the resin it's a tabletop oh, it's heavy and i can't hold it up towards the light but it's I kind of ruined it with that last bit of red I put through it. Uh, it's um, got the crystal-y things through. It's kind of like a bit of a geode, I suppose. But it's got the luster in it. It's got some hearts. I should not have put that red. Lesson learned because I'm not a resin professional. So there you go.